While we were out and about on another day, once again with Ludvico and Diane, we went to the Farconi Winery. The headquarters are in one town and their vineyard and winery is in another location. And where else but on a beautiful hill overlooking the countryside. They were just starting to bring in their uh, grapes and here we see them in the auger and being crushed. They'll be further uh, crushed and sent into the fermentation tanks. Here's a wonderful view of the many fermentation tanks and once again some of the tanks are being drawn off. You can see the hoses and being brought into the barrels. Here is their barrel room where their wine is being aged. Coming around the other side of the building, we go into the entrance of the courtyard, which overlooks the vineyards in the countryside. In the summertime, they would have wine tasting and events out here in this, in this area. But today, the weather is a little bit uh, on the cool side, so we're going inside for wine tasting uh, and for lunch. Diane and Lodovico are discussing the types of wine that they uh, might have for, for distribution. And here's Marco Falcone doing the honors for sharing the uh, white wine first, and then afterwards the, the red wine. They're discussing the flavors and the nuances of the, of the various wines that they're tasting. I There's Diane receiving a, a glass of wine. Swirling the wine to oxygenate it just a little bit to improve the flavor. And of course, Marco asked, Do I want a glass of wine? Certainly. These are some of the wines that are under consideration for distribution in the USA by Diane's firm. This, after two years, is another wine. After four years, is another wine. Really? Yes. Doesn't go. But it's finished. It's finished three months ago. Panorama of the showroom and the lunch table is being set. More wine, more food. You would think there were 10 of us there, judging from the amount of food that was put out. Absolutely wonderful. Marco was a, a very gracious host. And there's the family portrait.